Welcome. Today we're going to talk about paper reading. Paper reading is a tool on the paper educational support system that lets your child practice their reading skills and build fluency. And it's a great way to get your child reading more at home. If you're not familiar with paper, we recommend you watch our overview video first. Okay, so first let's talk about accessing paper reading. What you see here is the paper platform. You can access paper reading by clicking this tab here on the sidebar that says reading, or by clicking this button over here that says practice reading with paper reading. It's important to note that paper reading is an optional feature, which means your district decides whether or not they want to activate it. If you don't see the reading tab or this button, then unfortunately you don't have access to this feature. When you click either of these access points, you come to this landing page. This gives you an overview of what assignments your child has, as well as some stats about how much reading they've done. They also have this fun avatar here they can customize. There are a couple different ways that your child can use paper reading. The first is to complete assignments given to them by their teacher. They could do this in class or as homework, but either way those assignments will show up here. Let's click on the first one here to see how it works. As you can see, when you click on the assignments, the teacher's instructions will pop up. Here we have to read the text out loud and then complete the other tasks listed. Over here you can see the tasks. We've already read the instructions, so the next task is model reading. Your child can click down here and listen to someone read the text to them first so they can familiarize themselves with it before trying to read it on their own. After that, there's a vocab word that their teacher wants them to focus on, in this case squid. And then the next task is the read aloud. This is the core feature of paper reading, and it's a really powerful one. Students click on record, then they start reading the passage out loud. When they're finished, they click pause and then save. Next, this teacher is assigned a comprehension question. They have the option to either write a response or record themselves speaking their response. Now that all the tasks are complete, you can click on turn in assignment, and here's where the magic happens. Paper reading listens to the recording and gives you immediate feedback on how your child did. It flags any mistakes and gives you important feedback like words per minute, total words read, and unique words read. This is really great for teachers and parents because it allows you to see if your child is really reading on the level they're supposed to. And since students can go back and try again by clicking on edit my submission, it motivates them to keep practicing until they can read it as fluently as possible. So that's how the assignment feature works, but there are two other ways your child can use paper reading. One is to access our free content library and pick a text to read on their own. The reading material in the library can be searched by grade level by clicking over here and contain several hundred different texts your child can choose from. Let's say you have a first grader who needs some reading practice. You can come to the library, click here on K through first, then let your child choose the text they want. As you can see with the younger grades, each passage is represented by a picture. They can then read the text aloud, a poem in this case, and get the same feedback they would for an assignment. The third way you can use this is to have your child read aloud from any text using the free read option up here. When they click on free read, they're brought to this page where they can record themselves reading any book, magazine, comic, anything really. Use this when you want your child to practice reading aloud from something not offered in our content library. So when might you use paper reading at home? Well, paper reading is a great way to get your child to boost their reading fluency skills year round. And it's especially useful in keeping those skills up over holidays and summer break. Studies have shown that kids can lose as much as 40% of what they've learned over the school year while on summer break. So having your child spend even 10 or 15 minutes per day on paper reading can help them retain those reading fluency skills and stop the dreaded summer slide. So there you have it, paper reading, a great tool from the paper educational support system to help your child boost their reading skills.